Hey, it's great to have you back again this morning. We're working our way through the book of Lamentations, and, and there's some intensity in this book. Our reading today is Lamentations 3, verses 22 to 24. Let's take a look at that, and then we'll, we'll think about it together. Through the Lord's mercies, we are not consumed, because his compassions fail not. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. The Lord is my portion, says my soul, therefore I hope in him. We can always remember that it's through the Lord's mercies that we're not consumed. He, he is characterized by mercy. It's one of the key elements in his name. Go and look at it in Exodus 34. Moses wanted to know uh, his goodness. And God said, let me, let me tell you my name. I'm going to pass before you and show my name. Read it in Exodus 34. Mercy is like the first thing or the second thing right there on the list. So his mercies are new. How often are they new? You know, once a month, uh, once a week. His mercies are new every day, every morning, all the time. He, he has mercies for us. Because of his mercies, we're not consumed. His compassions fail not. No, no, they're not once a week, or they're not a couple of times a week, or, or once a year. You don't just get it on your birthday. You know, his, his compassion never fails. We serve a God who is steady, you know. We, we, are, we, we veer off into spiritual detours and in, in, in problems and in canyons. God is always compassionate and loving toward us. Now, the devil doesn't go on vacation, and, and God doesn't take any either. So we can be thankful that, that God doesn't take any vacations. It says here, his compassions and his mercies are new every morning. In other words, every day, all the time, they're always renewed. God has a distinct plan for you, for the providential interactions you're going to have in your life today. With his angels, with his Holy Spirit, with with lost people, with, with uh, quote-unquote saved people. God, God sees it all, and he has a big plan. Uh, you have free will. He's not going to force things, but God has a wonderful plan for you today. You are going to interact with people and angels, people, some who need, need to find their way to the kingdom. Maybe you can give them a word in season. God, God might have something other, some other plan. We need to be finely tuned so that we can sense the guidance of his spirit. It says here, the Lord is my portion, and great is your faithfulness. There's even a special hymn, you know, great is your faithfulness, O God, my Father. There is no shadow of turning in you, and you know the words. God is, is right, and he's good all the time. And that isn't just a, a superficial candy saying. That's the way God really is. And when it says here, the Lord is my portion, remember so the, the different tribes had different things about their uh, inheritance but the Levites, the Lord was their portion. We have that privilege. Take a look at Malachi chapter 3, and you find what? That the sons of Levi, are there. the Lord is working to purify them. And it sounds kind of like that in 1 John 3 in the New Testament. God is working to purify you. We're, we're his servants. We are a priesthood of believers, right? So in a way, we're kind of like the sons of Levi. Who's our, who's our portion? Who's our inheritance then? Well, God directly is. So you don't need that new big giant screen TV. You don't need... Uh, this item or that material thing, the Lord is your portion. And that's exactly what Lamentations, Jeremiah says here in the Lamentations. I'm having hope because I know that the Lord has called me directly to have a mission for him. Every one of us has a mission, a mission in this world. Oh, God is good. Let's, let's praise him in prayer. Dear Father in heaven, we look to you with, with rejoicing. You could be sort of a neutral God or kind of a grumpy God, but Lord, you are good and merciful and compassion never fails. Lord, we want to emulate you. We want to be more like you. Do your utmost, Lord, to, to transform us so that we can be more like Jesus. This is our prayer today. And in Jesus' name, we give thanks to you. Amen. Well, friend, have a wonderful day. Be blessed.